Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about arguments for the existence of God, and this time we'll discuss the argument from the grading of goodness, or from better and worse. This is very similar to the moral argument, so here goes. Premise 1. If God doesn't exist, nothing can truly have more or less goodness than anything else. Premise 2. At least some things do have more or less goodness than other things. Conclusion. Therefore, God exists. Let's look at the evidence for each premise in turn. Premise 1. When we say something is more or less good, we're referring to degrees of something that it has. For example, something can be hotter or colder because we know there's some means of measuring heat, and in cases of coldness, an absolute minimum amount of heat that can be had. We even know what that minimum is, negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. As things get closer to that absolute zero temperature, they become colder, so some things can actually be colder than other things. In order for something to be more good, it would need to be like this, where it can actually be closer to absolute goodness, or further away from absolute badness. However, in order for there to be an absolute goodness, you've got to have objective goodness, which means that God is needed to serve as that absolute goodness, which other good things either approach or fail to approach. So if God doesn't exist, the distinction between better and worse in terms of goodness is really inaccurate. Premise 2. Lots of things are clearly more or less good than other things, and we can discern this just based on our own experiences. We all know that it's less good to murder an innocent person in cold blood than it is to help them with their taxes. As with the moral argument, trying to reject premise 2 leads to all kinds of messy logical consequences. Conclusion. As long as both premises are true, the conclusion follows from them. The fact that some things have more or less goodness implies a God to provide a foundation or basis for it. This seems like a good argument. What kinds of objections could be brought against it? Objection. You can have more or less of something without it needing a measuring stick like this. For example, you can have more bread, but there doesn't need to be a maximum possible amount of bread. Reply. That's because when we say more bread, the word more is being used in a different way, to imply an increase in the number of limited finite things, rather than an increase in a certain quality, possessed by a single thing. However, when we say more goodness, we don't mean that there are a number of goodnesses, and some objects have more of those goodnesses than others. You don't need a foundation or basis for the greatest possible quantity of things, only for the highest example of a quality. So it follows that God must exist, or else nothing can be more good than anything else, which is a good piece of evidence to indicate that God exists. Next time, can the order of things in the universe teach us anything about God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.